Today I'm gonna show you how to create this infographic slide on PowerPoint. First go to shapes and pick this rectangle shape. Then just drag it over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Go to shape outline, make no outline. I will use this rectangle shape as a temporary basement of our city buildings. So place it over here and then again go to shapes and pick this freeform shape. This shape actually makes a fixed point where you click. Make sure that you hold the shift key from your keyboard cause it will ensure a straight line. Holding the shift key from my keyboard. I am just taking the mouse pointer upward, downward and to the right and clicking where I need a fixed point. Actually I got the idea of creating this from an illustration tutorial on YouTube. So I just thought to make it on PowerPoint. By moving and clicking the mouse pointer, I am just giving it a building shape. Now just to save your time. I'm doing it little bit faster. We are almost done with creating our building shapes. And now we are taking this extra line shape to hold the light. Now just leave the shift key and press enter. Then go to format, click on shape outline and change the color. Then again go to shape outline and increase the weight. Now I am placing this rectangle shape to the top and decreasing its height. Now we will create a electric cable. So pick a rectangle shape and then pick a trapezoid. Now rotate this one and place together. Then select these two, go to format, click on march shape and make them union. Now resize this one and place it over here. Then change the color and make no outline. Now we are adding two rectangles over this electric cable to give it a better look. After that we need a electric board. So we are taking a rectangle and sending it to back. Then changing the color to white and make no outline. After that I will create the light shape. So pick a rectangle shape and make it like this. Then go to format, change the color from shape fill and make no outline. Then again pick a double corner rectangle shape and make it like this. And then again go to format, change the color and make no outline. Then pick a triangle shape and drag it over here. Then resize this one and place it over here. Then right click and send it to back. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color and make no outline. Now pick a circle and place it over here like this. Then go to format, change the color and make no outline. Now pick a chord shape and drag it over here. Then rotate this one and move it to here. Then go to format, change the color to this and make no outline. After that just duplicate this one by pressing Ctrl D and change the color to white and decrease its size. Then group them together by pressing Ctrl G and send them to back. Now select all of these except this light shape. Then go to format, click on shape effect and pick offset shadow. Then select this light shape, go to format, click on this small icon, go to effect and from here change the shadow color to this. And then increase the transparency to 7%, make the size 109%, make the 
make it blur to 17 point and keep the angle to 90 degree and distance 3 point. Now our light shape is glowing much more better than before. Now we'll add some infographic circle in our slide. So place it over here and then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Then resize this one and duplicate this 5 times more by pressing Ctrl D. Now I am selecting all of these circles to place it in the middle of the slide. To save your time, I am just copying the icon from here and pasting over the circle. After that, I am duplicating by pressing Ctrl D 5 times more. Now pick a text box and drag this under the circle. Then write your own text here and I'm just changing the font and making it bold. After that, here I'm again duplicating the same thing. And we are done. You can download this template for free. I have given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.